Hi, welcome to the Sapphire channel. If you like what you see, please subscribe. And as always, you can follow me on Instagram, Jim Sapphire. So today is about December ins and outs. So products that I would and would not recommend. So I'm going to start off with a definite out. I would say a product that YouTube basically made me buy. It's the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick in Androgyny. I mean, I don't want to seem like a hater because I do watch his videos. I love his personality. I don't know if it's the formulation or what, but it's so watery. And just to demonstrate, I'll, I'll put some on. See, I, it's barely on and already it's bleeding into my, onto my teeth. And not to mention the smells. It's very unpleasant. It's like chemicals. So I really, I really don't think I can uh, use this in the future. So it's an out. So on to the next product that I actually would say is an in. Right now on uh, the, on the internet and and on YouTube, what seems to be very popular is micellar water. So I bought Bioderma. I really like this. It's very refreshing and it just removes the makeup really easily. In my end of the day makeup removal process, what I do is I would use something like this to clean off my eye and lip makeup and then I continue on with a, a makeup wipe and then I actually wash my face. So I'm going to use this to remove the, um, the liquid lipstick that I just put on. There you go. I mean, it even works on red lipstick, which is great. Okay. The next product is from Skin Food. I would say this is an out for me. The Milk Coconut Jam Makeup Remover. I'm just gonna let you see the inside. It's a, it's a, a thick, thick cream. I mean, it does do the job. I mean, it takes off the eye makeup, it takes off the red lipstick, but the texture is very gloppy or gloopy. You just, I just feel like I would be afraid to even put it near my eyes just because it would get all into my eyes. So for that reason, I don't think I'll buy more of this. So going on to um, face makeup. I don't know if you recall, I did a video on Anastasia's Moonchild highlighting palette. I didn't like that formulation, but from that I learned that I actually like the color purple as both a highlighter and as a blush. So since then, I purchased from ColourPop their, their blush in rain and their highlighter in hippo. So now whenever I do a purple eyeshadow look, I use both of these to complement that look. So I would recommend these. And then for lipsticks, now with the winter month, where you know we're going towards more darker colors. So I really like this Kat Von D Wolves Mouth. It's sort of a burgundy with a, a metallic finish. It's very pretty. I might actually put this on. Okay. Okay, there we go. <laughs> And then the last product that I wanted to mention, it's um, YSL's Sheer Candy 
I have it in number six, the um, Luscious Cherry. It's more of a sheer, I would say, lipstick, but sometimes, you know, there's a day you, you don't want a thick lipstick, you want a sheer color, so this is very pretty and soft on the lips. So those are my ins and outs for December.